a lot of damage let's see if this does go down if this does go down it's gonna be okay for red indeed the expansion does go down so he does have a net advantage because his natural is still up um mc still he doesn't even have the money to uh, to put his um, natural up again but there is one void ray out and i think no indeed that is the only void ray yep one void ray out only and um obviously one void ray is not enough to deal with uh with an entire Zerg army, so let's see what's gonna happen right now. Red is looking really good for the time being. Um, on two bases right now, also getting a Hydra Den up, and did he get some Evo Chambers? I'm quite curious. No, there are no Evolution Chambers, but there are a lot of Queens uh, over here, four Queens in total to defend against any Void Ray incoming attack. Obviously, the more Queens you have, the better, because uh, also because of the Transfuse. It looks like Red is gonna try some harassment over here at the Mineral Line. <clears throat> MC did place his Nexus again uh, up at the Natural, but uh, Red is macroing up leisurely, as we all know, or as most of us know at least, uh, Red is a very good macro player. He's proved it in the GSL, he's very good at macroing games, so uh, if he does decide to, I mean, if he manages to expand and get more bases up, He's surely going to mass out a quite impressive army, and I just don't know if MC is going to be able to hold up against this, but do remember, MC is the current GSL champion, so he's a formidable player, a formidable atmosphere adversary, and uh, let's see what's going to happen. Is this player going to do any damage? No, seems like that queen is going to ward it off for now, and Red is just playing contain for now. He's moving his zerglings all over the place so he can see what's actually happening and what uh, MC is planning. And the first Immortal is out as well. Mm, Immortal obviously a great unit. Yeah, Immortal is obviously a great unit to have against Roaches, but we can see Red has pretty much given up Roaches for the time being. He only has uh, Zerglings and Hydra, so Immortal is really the worst unit you could have against that kind of unit composition. But um, let's see if FMC is going to be able to hold this off. He's throwing some. Uh, He's trying to scout out the map as much as he can. He's throwing these void rays all over the place, trying to see if uh, Red is trying to um, throw up some sneaky expansion. But nothing really out of the ordinary happening. The uh, the hatchery is being planned over here at the third, let's say, logical expansion. The gold is still the gold rocks are still up, and MC is throwing this observer in there. He's going to see the Hydra Den. He's going to see the Evolution Chamber and. Uh, as the observer swings around, he's most likely going to see the hydras if they're no, actually they're further up in front. And this is a lot of creep tumors, and uh, a lot of um, a lot of players don't know that if you plant down a lot of creep tumors, the, the creep will span uh, will spread extremely fast. So yes, it is it is good if you have a surplus of energy on your queens to throw down additional creep tumors if you want to expand your creep faster. Here we go, two waiters making their way closer to this expansion over here, and let's see if the hydras are going to be enough. To take it down normally should be enough but there is no creep and um, Voiders might be able to do some damage and flee after the damage has been dealt uh, also spire on the way for red where is the spire in a pretty unorthodox position I would suppose because I can't really see it oh here it is in the main and uh, he's making his way across on the backside might try to get some probe kills on the mineral line at the natural let's see if, he, if he's gonna be able to do enough damage over here. Just sending a few links. Now this is very smart to see if there's any cannons uh, over here. He sees one cannon is on the way. So um, gonna back off for now. Not gonna send, not gonna commit all his zerglings to that attack. And a robotics bay has finished in the meantime over here and the ext extended thermal lance is on the way for OGS MC. It is getting chrono boosted as well. And uh, Colossus is getting chrono boosted at the same time. Now let's see, is MC actually going to make a push with all these units? Um, army size wise, I think he's in a net advantage, he has a lot of workers, uh, a lot of um, food advantage, at 130 to 116, this is quite amazing, uh, taking into account the fact that um, MC lost his natural. But Hydras are really good DPS, and uh, without Colossus in the Protoss army, it is really hard to out DPS the Hydras if they have Roach and uh, Zergling support. So, uh, oh, actually some Zerglings making it their way into the main base right now, and they're going to try taking down this robotics facility, but they're not going to be able to. Two Zealots getting warped in right here. 
I'm gonna make sure that's not gonna happen. And one Colossus almost finished, and the probe's getting taken off the line, taking care of the Zerglings and also these Zealots over there. Um, he, um, OGSMC needs to think about getting a third expansion. Obviously, uh, this one has been mined out, his natural has been mined out, so he needs to get an additional source of income. And he's gonna transit all of his probes down here until he's gonna have enough to get an additional nexus. But the thing is, I don't think he cares that much. I think he cares about getting one or two. Uh, he's kind of boosting this one, so most likely gonna see him push across after he gets two Colossus. He knows that Red has the um, macro advantage right now, so I don't think he wants to try and trump that. I don't think he wants to um, overtake Red uh, when it comes to this um, to this macro advantage. But we see five corruptors on the way, which means those corruptors are gonna be there strictly for taking care of those Colossus and um, the observer over here detecting all these creep tumors they're gonna go down the creep is going to recede and um let's see if this is gonna be if he's gonna circle around and try to take down some creepers uh, creep tumors on that side as well it seems like no he's gonna back off there's two additional colossus in production getting two robotics facilities and um wow i don't think four corruptors is gonna cut it i think that this um three colossus right now on the field and this is gonna be enough I think if he just focuses fire with the soccers on the corruptors he's gonna take them down uh, fast enough and here we go looks like red is gonna try a push over here Colossus dealing damage from a very high range over there corruptors are coming in but let's see if he does focus fire I'm just gonna select these corruptors to see what's happening over here doesn't look like it seems like there we go some uh, stalkers are focusing fire on the corruptors right now they're going down very fast same with the sentries focusing fire on the corruptors still two uh, two colossus staying alive and two voiders and I don't know if red is gonna be able to hold this off actually um, those zerglings just getting melted away <laughs> so fast by the colossus and the zealots and these corruptors just gonna go down so fast and red actually ggs this one so fast he he he, he knows that he's not gonna be able to do anything Un unbelievable game actually if if you just look at this game and you see uh you see mc having just one base off of which is mining and you see red mining he has three hatcheries and uh, he's mining off two and you just can't believe that this uh uh, that MC just took everything down with this only this army right here and he's been down a base the whole time his natural got destroyed and he actually managed to pull this one off uh, with just um, with just one base and then getting the second up really really late while Red had his base up for a long time but um, really amazing game from OG SMC I mean um, he's not the GSL champion uh, for nothing so really impressive game but uh, this is a best of five I'd remind you so we're gonna go off to game number two and see what happens over there but really surprising to see red lose this one I actually thought he nailed this one he had beautiful creep spreading he had uh, a lot of bases he had the net income advantage and even the I mean the the, the main was mined out for uh, for MC so yeah anyway uh, gonna stop the blabbering and go off to game two uh, I'll see you guys there